What's up, guys? It's Rye the Movie. What the hell? Who are you? What the? Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. Just having a little fun with this movie. I just saw Us tonight, giving you a nice little review on it, a positive review. This movie was great. It exceeded my expectations. Jordan Peele has done it again. This is his sophomore film. His first one was obviously Get Out, and that was a movie that took me a while to for it to grow on me. And as soon as it did, that's when the Us trailer came out, and I gave Us a chance because of watching Get Out again and then loving that. And this movie has raised the bar once again for his films. The directing and the screenwriting is just amazing. And I just can't wait to share with you everything that I saw, but there's only so much I can share. Now the premise of the story seems simple, but once you watch this movie, a lot more is happening than meets the eye. So I'm gonna keep everything I say at a minimum. I'm not gonna reveal too much about this movie. Spoiler free here. But as a brief overview, it's a story of a family, the Wilsons, that go off to their beach house to spend some time away and to spend some time with some close friends of theirs. While they're there, they happen to meet up with these four strangers and end up finding out that they are their doppelgangers and they cause chaos and the entire film is pretty much them dealing with each other. First off, the cast. I'm gonna start off with Lupita Nyong. I know I mispronounced her name, but she plays the lead role in this movie. She was amazing in this. I'm calling it now. If this movie's nominated for any Oscars, I'm gonna say it's gonna be screenplay or for her, for a leading role as an actress. This woman was just phenomenal. Not only her, but the husband, Winston Duke, he did a great job as well. And then you have Elizabeth Moss that plays the friend of hers. All of them, even the kids, everyone was so believable in this movie that you felt the fear for these, this specific family because they were being attacked by themselves. The amazing thing about these actors was how they all, for the majority of them, had to portray the character they were playing and play the doppelganger. So they were playing two fictional characters, but they're playing one character that's written for the story and they had to pay the opposite of this fictional character. So they all played off amazingly. Now I mentioned Jordan Peele already, but I have to say about him that this movie I might even say this might even be his masterpiece. I know that people say that that's what it is for Get Out, but sometimes directors get better and better with their films over time, and then they go to that one specific film. And in my opinion, I think it's gonna be us when you compare it to Jordan Peele. Just like Alfred Hitchcock was with Psycho. With Stanley Kubrick for horror, it was The Shining. you know. And then now for Jordan Peele, I think it's gonna be us. Maybe something else will come along in the future that will top this movie. And the horror genre, once again, has been reinvented because of this man's writing and just this style of creating this world. One thing that I liked about what he did, and I mentioned this before in other reviews, is how you can make a movie and combine a bunch of different genres. And he does it in a way that makes these genres overlap over each other. You got comedy, you got horror, you got drama. And he does it in a way that it just, it's all together. It's not like different scenes feel like separate separate movies like one feels like a comedy one feels like a drama one feels like a romance he's actually able to write everything and have it just connect so well and you just get to relate not only relate to these characters but you just feel that this is all really happening in this situation like get out he was kind of more of a social commentary ground with this movie it kind of is that too but it's more so without ruining the movie he's talking about how we are as individuals and though this movie is a horror film, it goes into deep territories and it makes you think. And with Jordan Peele, it's almost like he's questioning us, telling what kind of a person are we. And this goes back to when I was telling you that when you go out of this theater, you'll be having so many conversations about this and it's gonna be running through your head so much, just like it is with mine. But it just makes you think about how we are as individuals. Now, like all good movies, there are some flaws, but the funny thing with this movie, the flaws I actually appreciated. This is the type of movie where it builds up very slowly. It takes this time in telling a story and slowly revealing what is happening up until the end when the, the revelation, the entire thing is revealed. And some people are the type that wants to get the story, the groundwork completely out of the way and get to the action. It may not pick up as much as you want it to. I love it. Those are the type of stories that I love. The other thing is at the end of the movie, 
there's more questions than answers. That's another thing that some people don't like, whereas I love movies like that, because that's where the conversation starts once you leave the theater. Everyone has different opinions, you debate, and it's great to talk about a movie like that in that way, but this is a movie where it's gonna end, and you're gonna ask, okay, there was no resolution to this. With all that said and done, you obviously probably gonna know what grade I'm gonna give this movie, and that is an A. This is probably the best movie I've seen so far in 2019. Granted, I haven't had a chance to see a lot of movies in theaters, though this is the one that definitely has stuck out the most. We have an entire year to go through, but Jordan Peele's Us, be prepared to hear this movie again when Oscar time comes because I can't say for sure it will, if it will be nominated for Best Picture, but I can say for sure it has a good chance of picking up a screenplay nomination or Best Actors nomination because this is prestigious, fantastic work. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my review for us. Please subscribe to me if you wanna hear more reviews from me in the future. Go ahead and click on this like button if you liked the video and comment below, tell me if you liked the movie or not and tell me why or why not you liked it. I will be doing my next movie review at least for Dumbo coming out March 29th. But in the meantime, I will see you all at the movies.